What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Who's ready for a Gymshark legging haul? Full color edition. So I got to perusing the other day. I was really feeling that chill in the air and I thought, hmm, Gymshark fall leggings. <laughs> So I totally just randomly typed in Gymshark leggings, women's on their website to see what came up and I just did a random haul. <laughs> so we got a nice variety of collections here. We're trying them out, doing like a try on review, kind of seeing what vibe you might want to go for this fall time. There's definitely something for everybody here in this one. But first guys, exciting news. You probably already heard Gymshark is launching some new adapt on the 24th of September, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know that the Adapt collection is my number one. It truly is. You would know from my Battle of the Gymshark leggings video, that's my ride or die. So we are talking new camo seamless colors, new animal, and new Adapt the Marl. I'm so freaking excited, so stay tuned for that. I will also keep you guys up to date and posted so y'all don't forget in the community board on YouTube as well as Instagram stories. You already know, I'm there for you, baby, indeed. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, because together we got this. Let's get into some full leggings, shall we? I gotta light my full candle first. Yes, I do. Gotta set the vibes. All right, now we're all set for this fall legging haul. So as per usual, I will have everything you see linked down below, as well as my measurements, but it's a little bit different today. Um, I don't have everything in a size small, which is my true to size size. Today, one legging, which I'm gonna review first, is in a size medium, and that is the Breeze Lightweight. This is in the color Slate Lavender, I did a full review on the Breeze Lightweight collection when it first came out. And if you remember, I tried on the blue color and it fit perfectly, but the pink was hard to get up. Like I couldn't even get it up past my hips. So I was not sure what size to get in the Slate Lavender. So I went with a medium and the verdict is I could have went with my small. It's not like crazy, like baggy or anything like that, but you can see where it's a little bit looser, like around my waist area, near the crotchal region, it's kind of bagging up a little bit. So I definitely could have went with the small. So as far as what I've tried, the pink is the only color that I would have to actually size up in. Had to get this freaking color, y'all. The muted tones for fall are everything. This color blends with the season so flawlessly. You have like that little tinge of purple, that lavender, but it's definitely muted with that gray, the slate color. So it really mellows out that mood. It's a relaxing color, if I do say so myself. Lavender. For me, this is like a nice medium compression, perfect for virtually anything. What I do love is because it is the Breeze Lightweight, it's lightweight, it's nice and kind of airy feeling. It's not ultra restrictive. It allows you to move real nice. The ribbed waistband's not crazy huge, but it's not tiny, so I really like that. It's got the high-waisted, it is seamless, yay. And I really love the tones here. So you have the Gymshark in the same tone, but lighter, and you also have the dotted accents running down the legs. So you have a little bit of movement, breaks up the monotony of the color. You do have the dotted contour on both sides of the legs. So it gives it like that active stripe, but dotted. So it's a really nice added little touch. That's what makes the breeze lightweight, the breeze lightweight. That specific detail, the little dots. The length is perf. Can't complain, five foot three, baby, yay. So um, I gotta say that the peach agrees with these leggings because of the raised seam contour. I'm loving that, man. If it ain't the scrunch, it's the raised seam contour that just kinda, it just does something. It just, it just brings in the middle of your behind. Oh, so perfectly. You do have a really nice gusset, absolutely. 
and it does not give me the dreaded CT. So this baby is 69% nylon, 19% polyester, and 12% elastane. So you can definitely feel that wicking capability and these are very, very stretchy. So they fit like a glove other than me having to totally size down in this color, particularly this color. They're dope. I am a huge fan of the Breeze Lightweight Collection. Pretty much any of Gymshark's seamless, like wins my vote, but Breeze Lightweight's nice because I have a lot of their crop tops. So I need that matching action. So they do make note on the website that because it's such a lightweight material, Breeze Lightweight, uh, they might not be 100% squat proof depending. For me, this was squat proof, but I don't know if it's because it's a darker color or because it's a medium. I'd have to try it in my correct size. Um, but yeah, sizing down and this would be perfect. Okay, so I had to get another training 7 8 legging to go along with the collection because I'm pretty sure I'm like working on all the full spectrum of the color of the rainbow. So I had to get a state, just a signature black color. I realized I didn't have one. How'd I miss out on that? I don't know. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you would know the training 7 8 legging. I am so super in love. Even though it's not seamless, it's my favorite non-seamless legging from Gymshark because they do not have the running seam down the middle crotchal region. So it almost appears, and sometimes I forget it's not seamless because it has that overall seamless feel and fit. I really appreciate that. It is one of their more affordable collections, 7 8 for a shorty like me, I absolutely need this in my life. It is buttery soft like yoga, yoga vibes, yoga babes out there, yeah. I've worn this to the gym as well. Like you could do pretty much anything with it, going out and about and running errands, yeah. It is squat proof, the black will go with anything. So when it comes to fall, Black's kind of a no-brainer. So it is 78% polyester and 22% elastane. This is ultra stretch, if I ever did know it. You do have the wicking capabilities. It is buttery, soft, second skin. And I would give this just like a very like medium, lighter compression. So if you're looking for something really compressive, something that'll like really smooth like cellulite or give you insane tummy control, then I would steer away from the 7 8 training legging. Um, but if you are somebody who just wants that real, just cozy second skin, soft yogi vibe that you can pretty much wear doing anything very versatile, then yes, and it's affordable. I absolutely love it. I swear by the 7 8 legging. I have a ton of their training bras, so I like to mix and match with their training leggings. So this I will easily wear with the black training bra that I have, the scoop neck with the shark face logo, it'll literally match identical. So you do have that real stark white contrast with the Gymshark shark face right on the left hip. And then you have it right in the middle on the back of the band as well. So they do keep it simple. Other than that, this is one of their more solid leggings with zero contour, other than a little bit, if you wanna go there, a little bit of their seamed contour on the back, which yes, indeed, it does contour the booty because the seams work in your favor. For me, I feel like it really makes the peach look pretty peachy <laughs> and it's not really that compressive. So it's not really smushing in any goodies back there. These leggings give me life. I love them and I'm so happy they added them to their collection. All right guys, so no fall is complete without the power down leggings. Absolutely. I did a full review on this as well. Okay, pretty much every legging you see here, I did a review on. <laughs> so I have experience with the power down leggings and let me tell you, I, oof. So what you got going on here is a lot of mixtured contour movement, but all pretty much ribbed action going on. I love that, I love ribbed. So you have the high waist, seamless. They are so soft, powdery soft. Beautiful texture on here. All throughout, you have the ribbed details, all like ribbed contouring. It's just, it's very beautiful. You still have that really nice movement, but they are made for chill days. This is the kind of legging where if you're hanging out on the weekend with your boyfriend watching some Netflix, but you want him to watch you, yeah, your peach is gonna look like a real nice plump peach <laughs> in this. This gives me a bootay that wasn't there before. You do have like the really nice 
logo popping out right on your shin here. And as far as logos go, that's it. And you still do have a gusset. For me, these are squat proof, but I really don't plan on wearing these to the gym at all. <laughs> these are just my full cozy up, like I wanna watch Harry Potter, chill, eat some popcorn, and that's that. So this is made out of 80% modal, 15% nylon, and 5% elastane. So the modal, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right, that's made out of like tree pulp actually. So it's what gives it its like luxurious, real nice powdery feel. And then obviously you do have the elastane in it to make it super stretchy. So this is the type of material that brands make pajamas, underwear, things like that out of. So that's why it's totally made for your rest day. All right guys, so I went cray and I got the Geo Seamless in teal. So if you're somebody who doesn't wanna to totally get rid of like summery colors, <laughs> but you're definitely ready for the transition of fall, this I felt like it was just so perfect because you have such a toned down teal in here. You have a ton of gray actually mixed throughout. A lot of the contour that you see, you still have the that deeper teal blue, but it's definitely coated in like a gray kind of muted tone. So I thought that you could absolutely mesh this into the fall season quite well. I would personally wear this with gray or black sports bras. The Geo Seamless, I'm sorry, I feel like it's very underrated. It does have a lot going on, I will say that. So it's got that overall like crazy contour, totally stand out digital look. I love that for certain occasions when I'm feeling that kind of design. It's not something I would wear every day, but I do think it's so original and different that there's nothing else on the planet like it, period. <laughs> if you look closely, you will see like that gradient action going on. So it's a nice faded kind of legging where it goes from one color to another. This material to me has more of a little bit more of just that ruggedy feel, but it's still so comfortable and it's nice and huggy around your curves. So I do like that. A lot of their seamless leggings in general just kind of like hug in the right places. So this is no different in my opinion. I think the peach looks really nice in it. The leggings come to a nice length. I have their like burgundy kind of color in this and I love it. So I decided to get the teal as well and make it happen this season. I'm making this baby happen. This is 54% nylon, 38% polyester, and 8% elastane. So you do still have the stretch and the wicking capabilities. So this is perfect for the gym. It does appear squat proof on me as well as the other color that I have. So I absolutely wear it to the gym. It's definitely intense. It makes me feel like a real badass superhero for real. So this is like gym mode, I'm serious today. You best leave me alone. That's the vibe I get from this. There's days like that, I need this in my life for that reason. What I find also really neat about these leggings is that the logo's faded in with the gradient, so it's barely recognizable until you look up close. Like it's part of the legging. It is just one being here. There's no big contrast, it just blends right in. So. Ooh, a little camouflage action. Never hurt nobody. All right, last but not least, had to get another straight up black pair of leggings. These are the laser cut tights in size small. So I already have a pair, but in a lighter color. So it's really nice to have that like just staple black piece. These tights are as if for me personally, like I feel like these tights remind me of the training legging mixed with some of the, like, the similar details of the Energy Plus Seamless. Because you do have those laser cut holes on the side, they just kind of remind me of the Energy Plus Seamless designs. But the feeling, that feeling is so soft that it reminds me of the Training 7 eighths. You do have a little bit of different material though. These are 80% nylon and 20% elastane. So you have an incredible amount of stretch and the nylon gives that real like, kind of like glossy feel in a way, if that makes sense. A little bit slippery in a way, yeah. You do have a nice high waist, but the band's a little bit small. So typically I really love a nice thick band, but if I'm mixing it up, adding some different pieces to my wardrobe, it does have its own unique look. The waistband on the back actually has a little, a little slit back here where you can hide something if you would like to hide something. It is a laser cut pocket though. 
so I wouldn't put anything valuable back there. And that's just there to put a tissue. Like when you're done, you just throw it back there. And, you know, just get it out of the way. But overall, like I really love the look of the flawless knit. Like I think it's such a smooth, shexy look that it gives just that really nice twist to a traditional black legging where it's like, ooh, a little peekaboo action. So it's like, oh, it's noticeable from far away. Just enough to add a little zing zang to your wardrobe. Unlike the training, these actually do have a seam right down the frontal region. Thank God it doesn't give me camel toe nation. That I noticed. It's pretty good in that department, so props. This is just an overall more sporty black legging than the traditional, right? Like the 7 8 legging I would pair with a pair of boots or whatever, wear them out and about. These I would pretty much just wear as sport leggings meant for walking, biking, the gym, things like that. They're not something I would wear so much as like dressing up for fall and having your signature black leggings underneath. This has a little more intricate detail. So you need to have, there's a time and place for that. And they are squat proof on me. So yeah, they make for a really awesome gym legging. And I keep thinking like biking for some reason in these. I think maybe the little pocket's doing it for me. Don't really know. And they do have a really nice size gusset. So again, even if you are doing yoga, this could work for it as well because it is so soft and very comfortable. So very versatile piece, I would say. All right guys, so that was it. That was my fall Gymshark legging haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. So in my personal opinion, I find these perfect for the fall time. You got the really nice muted tones. You got the medium compression, a lot of versatility in these types of leggings. So things that I could wear chilling out or going to the gym, these got me pretty much covered for the whole season. So very excited. I'm a seasonal gal. You already know. Look at this. Mm. So definitely stay tuned. All right. We got some really exciting videos coming next week. Again, y'all stay posted. The 24th. That big Gymshark launch, the Adapt Collection, it's gonna be off the chain. And I'm really, really amped. I've been literally dreaming about it at night. I'm not even kidding you. So it's getting insane and um, I, can't, I just can't keep up with it. The excitement is making me literally have like heart palpitations. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I love you so much. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.